So this video is on how to help you uh, get quickly your hands on on procedural building generator, which is a really cool tool to make buildings. If you are working on a project like this one, I'm working right now. It's a game project where we are trying to make uh, a whole city with a lot of buildings, with a lot of things. And uh, the building generator is really quickly helping us to get our buildings uh quick and getting them uh on the fast on the fastest way possible so uh without further waiting let's go on how to get the tool first so the the tool is uh, a permanently free tool you can get it from the epic launcher right on the marketplace uh, it's part of the permanently free collections, so no worries, you can use it uh, any way you want. And the, uh, the studio uh, which is behind this tool is Master Game Studios. So uh, most of the things I'm using on this video, uh, you're going to use, I um, learned from their website, uh, from their YouTube channel, and mostly from their documentation. So I highly recommend you to use the documentation, which you can have right now. You have the documentation link, which is uh, uh, you can have it. Uh, directly from your uh, uh, your browser and just download the the PDF uh, the documentation which is on the PDF format and use it on the best way you can I highly recommend use this documentation because it's really cool it is really full of all the information you needed to get your uh, your hands with the tool so uh, going back to my city you can see that I'm really using uh, the tool on the best way possible and you can see that we can have uh, for now only one prefab and this prefab I'm using uh, on all my city and uh, of course I'm gonna go and customize all the buildings you are seeing right now okay so right now you have just a red brick wall everywhere and you can understand that by uh, we can use it uh, following and try to have a better uh, textures better meshes and of course have uh, different buildings so um, so like I said this is the document the documentation for the procedure building generator it's a PDF of about 60 pages and which is really really complete so I highly recommend you to use it and try to get your hands on on the tool following each page and following each functionality uh, let me say that the tool is really not easy, okay? <laughs> the documentation, they said it's easy, okay, it's great. But I really took some time to understand and highly grasp uh, all the, uh, the functionalities of the tool. But I can, I can really recommend the tool because like you see on the project, on the city project we're working on, you can really have things going very fast, guys, okay? So... Um, uh, let me demonstrate how I'm using the tool. You can, uh, I'm using uh, a PBG workshop. It's uh, another project where I do my prefabs. And what I'm gonna do in this video, because it's a quick video, just demonstrate to you how you can quickly build your, um, your building using this tool. So, uh, first thing, we use a prefab for, the, for this. We call it a prefab, which is a Unity concept. I don't really use this, uh, this uh, let's say this word. It's not really adequate for any real engine, but okay, whatever. You can use, the guys use the prefab, which is not um, a really bad word. So you can use it anyway. And you can see that I already have my first prefab on the viewport. Just put it like this, drag and drop, okay? I, let me show you, drag and drop, like that, okay? Just put it. And the building is on a blueprint that you're gonna customize afterwards. So first thing, it is really based on uh, a universal concept, uh, an Unreal concept, which is the spline concept. So first thing, we put the prefab. So you can see that we only have one side of the building, okay? And the next step, what we do, I recommend you, you can use it directly right now, okay, and use the alt click, okay, and go make uh, the building larger, okay, or, but I 
don't recommend using the perspective view, which is really time consuming. You have to go backward and turn, N not the best way, okay? So um, I recommend you use the top view, okay? It's the best way. You have a 2D view like this, okay? And let me go back to my prefab, which is this one. I'm not sure I'm, I was on this one, okay? Sorry, go back to the perspective. <laughs> Okay, this is this one. Okay, PBG3. And go back to the top. PBG3, there it is. Okay. Ah, recommendation. Really use the grid snapping. It's really important to have a grid snapping and use a hundred, which is a hundred centimeters. Okay, long, which is, means one meter. Okay. Uh, I'm using the European system. Sorry for the US guys. And just put it right here. Put it on a corner okay and the first uh the first spline is used uh, to move the, the the building okay so i'm using the alt click okay and let's say that we have uh you can see right now uh, i'm having a 10 meter unity 10 meter scale on my grid and which means that we have right now 20 let's go with something like uh, 40 okay 40 why not 40 and uh, each time you have to push the alt uh, key to have and do the drag on one of the axis okay so put alt drag stop right here push alt drag and have it right here and once you are okay so, so you, you have two let's say this side left okay which is let me go to the perspective view. You can see that we already built our building. See, okay. But you can see this side is totally empty. So we're gonna close the building, which is the way you finish your work. Close and just check the close spline right here. And we do have our building, okay. So right now we don't have much, okay. Just one floor, one roof, okay. And of course, you can change the number of laws, which is the best thing you can have, no? So let me show you that. You do just filter a number of floor, sorry, number of floors, okay? And right now we have the block manager, which is, we're gonna do that in another video, okay, guys? So right now you can change the number of the index one and the index two. And let's say, uh, so this is the, let's say the base, okay? Index zero is the base. And the index one is what we have above. So let's say we have, we need three number of floors above. And see, that's it. Three. And this is how it works, okay? So right now you can see that I have to delete some two splines because I have this, empty side which i don't want so how to fix that you just remove the spline right now and i remove this second one okay and to have it refresh just move the building okay i'll move one of the splines and it will fix it okay and go back okay right now see we have a full building okay so this is it for this video it's just an intro video okay i hope you enjoy the content and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay it really helps so bye for now and watch my next series on the procedure building generator bye